Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, we would learn how to solve the practice question sum of a series. So first we would understand what we have to do and then we would move forward to the code part. So basically over here we would be given a number n that is the number of total elements in the series as well it is the last element of the series. So n means that there is only one element in the series that is 1 itself. So the sum is 1. Now let's take another example where for example n value is 5 that means there are 5 total elements in the series and from which 5 is the last one. So that means the series is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now I need to print the sum. So what I would do I would just say sum that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and the output is 15. So my answer should be 15. This is what we have to do and for doing this we have a formula and the formula is n multiply n plus 1 divided by 2. This is the formula where n is the last element of series. So using this formula we can easily solve this question and now when we already know the concept and the formula so let's move forward and solve this question. So one minute. Now see this is the question where it is mentioned that you need to print the sum of a given series okay. So n over here is the last element as well as the number of total elements. So what I would do is I would declare a new variable that is answer answer is equal to n star okay n star in the bracket I would write n plus 1 after this this is being divided by 2 right so 2 now this would give me the answer but I need to return with the value so I would write return now see carefully in this I would do a type conversion I would mention int over here why because if I don't mention int over here they might give me an answer in float value so int and in int I want to print the answer okay. Now the code is done so we need to test it for the test case so let's click on compile and run. So one minute it is getting compiled let's wait. Okay the compilation is done we are matching with the expected output. Now let's submit this and let's wait if all the test cases are passing or not. See all the test cases have been successfully cleared. So this is the solution for this problem. I hope you found this video th helpful and thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.